I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will talk about direct variation. Now when we say direct variation we can represent it in the form of a graph which may look like this. A straight line going through the origin. right? So that represents direct variation. Normally when we draw a graph we represent independent variable x along the x-axis and the dependent variable y along the y-axis. So here x is independent variable and y is dependent variable. Whenever we are talking about direct variations, we say y is equal to some constant times x. That is to say that the ratio y over x is always constant. right? So that k is called constant of proportionality. This is called constant of proportionality right so in short this is what direct variation is now let me give you some examples and check with you if you have understood the particular definition we're talking about so if I give you a graph which is kind of like this will this be a direct variation or if I give you a graph which is, let's say, kind of like this, will that be a direct variation? Or if I give you a graph which is, let us say like this, will this be a direct variation? You can pause the video and answer the question. Now here, this is not direct. This is not direct variation. Can you tell me the reason? The reason is it is not linear. So it has to be a straight line. It has to be linear. Do you understand? That is why it is not direct. Now, the second example is again not direct variation. Can you tell me why? It is linear. It does not go through origin. That is why. Is that okay? How about the last one? The last one which we see has two important characteristics which is it is linear and second it passed through origin, right? Now the question is is it direct or not? The answer which will surprise you that it is a direct variation. Now the equation of this can be represented as y equals to kx. <clears throat> Only thing is k is negative. But it is a constant. Do you understand? So this is also a direct variation. So in case of a direct variation, it is important to note that it should be linear and pass through origin. It could be rising or falling. K could be negative or positive. Correct? So the important point here is that K is not equal to 0. Right? However, K could be anything else. K could be greater than 0 or K could be less than 0. Is it okay? So that is what it is. In direct variation, the lines could be going down as you move right or can be going up 
as you move right. However, they should be straight lines. So any graph which has a curved line cannot be direct variation graph. And a graph which starts from somewhere else rather than the origin or which does not pass through origin will not represent direct variation. So I hope that part is very clear, uh, clearly understood from these figures. So in this video, we have learned how to identify direct variation. One way is from the equation itself, equation type y equals to kx, where k is not equal to zero, it could be positive or negative. And second is that it should be from the graph a linear and pass through origin. So these are important things to consider when we are talking about direct variation. Now if it is not direct as in this case, can you tell me what type of variation is this? We call this as partial variation, which we'll take up in the next video. Okay, so this kind of variation, which does not start with origin, or the y-intercept is not origin, is called partial variation. Is it okay? So here there's a fixed cost and a rate. In direct variation, there is no fixed cost. Or you can say it is zero, right? So that is how direct variation is linked with partial variation. So the other term is partial, not inverse. So don't get confused with that. Um, I hope that makes it very clear how to identify from equation and from the graph whether a function or whether a relation is a direct relation or not. For partial variation, the relation could be, for example, this point is, is less than 10. So, so the relation could be y equals to 10 plus kx. So that makes a difference. Is it okay? In direct variation, this is always 0. So we write y equals to kx. I hope that's absolutely clear. Thanks. Feel free to post your suggestions. Share my videos. And if you like, that would be great. Thank you.